Hello everyone, Dana Cole here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about and discuss my latest new Photoshop overlays, the gold halo photo overlays. Um, and I want to show you guys how you can apply them to your images and how they look um, and how you can change certain things about them. So let's just get over to Photoshop so I can show you how to do them. So these are usually typically used with like maternity, um, kids, babies, etc. I mostly see them with uh, maternity and women uh, photographs because they kind of fit in with that. Um, so I'm going to use this particular photo today to show you guys how you can um, apply them to your images and how easy it is because it is really easy to do you guys. Okay, so we have our image here. Um, the first thing we are going to do is go up to layers and then we are going to duplicate this layer. Press OK. If you want to name it, you can, but it's fine. Background copy. All right, so now you have your duplicated background copy layer. What you want to do is go over to this tool here, which is the magic wand tool. Make sure it's selected. And then you want to go up here to select subject. Um, now there's two options here. Normally the device quicker results for an image like this is going to work perfectly fine to just select your subject. Um, if after you press this and it's not selecting everything, um, you can try the cloud um, also, but normally the device works perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and press select subject. and it's working okay so now she is selected and that's what we wanted she is perfectly selected every part of her is good to go so now what you want to do is come down to add layer mask this option here okay press it and now you see there is a layer mask of her which is great but we want to invert this layer mask so when we add our um, our halo overlay it's going to go behind her okay so um, let's go ahead make sure it's pressed and on your keyboard press Control I or command I if you're using Mac okay so now whatever we place into the photo is going to go behind her and not um, instead of her okay so now that we are all ready and prepped, that part is good to go. Let's go on up to file. And then we are going to go to place embedded. Okay. All right. So it's going to open up your, um, your folders and then you will just go to wherever the folder is, where you have the halos. Okay. Um, and let's do gold halo three for this one. All right, so now we have our halo here and it is in front of her and it's it's supposed to be, so that's perfectly fine. And now I'm just gonna kind of center it to where I want it. Um, and then you can also drag this in or out if it's too big or too small, depending on how you want it. Uh, for me, right about here, I think is good. And then I'm just gonna slide it over um, to where it's pretty much centered on her. Okay, so I like how that looks. I'm going to press OK. Okay, so as you can see, it's still in front of her and our next step is going to be to make it behind her. So let's come on over here to our gold halo layer, which is right here. And I'm gonna press it. And then I'm going to right click, okay? You want to right click and you will get this option of, um, prompts here and we want to go to create clipping mask and press it so now it is behind her as it should be and it looks great um, if after you have placed it um, behind your subject if something looks off um, or you want to move it over a little bit it's easy to do just make sure this is selected you can go up to edit free transform 
okay and it's going to bring back up the box that we had earlier and you can move it around um, if you need to make it bigger make it smaller now that it's behind your subject and you can see it a little bit better this is where you can do that okay if you like this as it is then you're good to go um, you can also um, I think with these particular type of halos they look great in normal mode but depending on the image um, and the coloring going on you can of course press um, to change the blending mode here so right now it's on normal and let's just see what some of the other ones look like some may work some may not of course screen looks pretty um, so does lighten so this is how you can change the blending mode or see if another blending mode works a little bit better with the image um, and if not normal is there if you need to change the opacity if you want it if it's a little bit too strong in color or in um, clarity and you want it to be a little less then you can do that here by changing the opacity so taking it up or down is going to change it like so okay so what if you wanted to change the color of the halo you want it to match um, say the color of the outfit that your um, mama client is wearing so I'm gonna show you how I do that and again this is another simple task it doesn't take a lot of time so make sure this is selected because we only want this color to affect the halo we don't want the coloring to affect everything so make sure um, your halo layer is selected now there's many different ways you can change colors to things for this particular type of change of coloring I do it via hue and saturation so let's come on up to image adjustments and we're gonna go over to hue and saturation okay go ahead and press it all right so now we have our hue and saturation box here so I want this to be like a pretty pink color I want the um, the halo to be kind of pinkish like her dress so I'm gonna start with my hue and I'm gonna take this down to around here because her dress is pink um, and then but as you can see this is a darker pink so what we're gonna do is come down next to saturation and maybe just bring that saturation um, now actually I'm gonna bring the saturation up a little bit because I do want that pink to be a little more saturated um, and then we're gonna come down to lightness and lightness is where it's gonna brighten it up a little bit depending on if you want it darker or more lighter to match um, the subjects clothing so here I think I like so I'm just gonna toggle so this was before and now it's pink and maybe I'm gonna take it a little less pink like this type color pink there we go so I think that one's better so this was before with it gold which also looks lovely and this is with it more pink to match her dress and outfit okay so I'm gonna press ok and now as you can see this is in the smart filters underneath our halo layer um, and then you can of course just toggle that on and off there and if you wanted to change it a little bit more maybe um, it's not pink enough or it's not green enough or whatever the color just go ahead and click here okay and then you can fine-tune it more if you need to okay okay so what if you wanted it more um, brighter or more contrast etc um, this is something again you will go up to image adjustments and let's go to brightness and contrast so you can start with brightness I generally start with brightness unless I know I don't want any more brightness and I just want contrast um, but here I'm just gonna show you guys so if you want it a little bit brighter like so and then you want to add a little bit more contrast um, then you have to do this is how you can do that um, and I'll just show the four after um, so for this one I probably wouldn't bring up the brightness too much or even the contrast I wouldn't actually mess with that for this image uh, but I just wanted to show you how you can do it um, again also if you wanted to uh, play with the curves um, or exposure curves is a good one I'm just gonna take this to the side um, so this is how you could play with the curves as well similar to brightness and contrast but a little bit different 
so taking it up here is going to uh, bring the brightness up bringing it down here is gonna um, take it back down a little bit and add a little contrast um, so I'm gonna just gonna toggle before and after here for after okay and so these are some ways that you can change um, the the color the brightness contrast etc of these halos to make them fit perfectly with your images um, again image adjustments is where you want to go if you want to change and play with and test out some of uh, these other particular adjustments that are available gradient maps is a great one um, shadow and highlights is also a good one uh, but this is where you can do this okay so this is the final image i like this i as you can see we changed um, we started with it we started with this image here um, and then we added our gold halo, which was gold like so. And then we changed the color of it with hue and saturation to pink. And this would be the final image. Now, once you are done with the actual adjustments just for the halo layer, if you want to add um, other actions on top of this for the entire image now, you can do so. So those would go on top of this layer and this layer. So let's say if I wanted to add an overall um, exposure layer, maybe I want to make it a little bit matte, the entire image with the halo. So I have my adjustments um, layer here on top of these two. So it's going to affect the, old, the entire image. And let's go over here. Let's we don't want to do that so that one doesn't look good so let's go here and restart okay so offset is where you can get the matte type of look so let's go ahead and maybe add that much okay so that's now how this looks with a matte look um, and then I'll just toggle back and forth so you can see the before and after for after maybe a little bit too much but it's okay also you can take it down um, if you want to maybe take that down to 50 there we go okay so that's a little less matte still matte but not so much okay so i kind of like that with this image um and yeah that you guys is how you can use um my golden halos and how you can change the colors of them and yeah to make your images a little bit more elegant and a little bit more unique for your photos for your photos um and that's going to be it for today's video you guys if you have any questions about something you saw feel free to post them below or um you can always message me on instagram or facebook and especially if you're in my facebook group you can post your post there and i can help assist you with something that you did not understand or that you need further clarification on that's going to be it for today's video i will see you guys on the interwebs and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and your week Bye!